hey, 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 welcome back to the car sucker. My name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car closer. That's what I am. I close car deals. I close and close and close. I close them. Close them and gross them. Hey, customers, we don't like you. Salespeople don't like you. And listen, I've talked about this before, how much we can't stand a customer. And I've gotten some feedback. Oh, I can't believe you would say that. Yikes. Can't believe I'd say what? I don't like a customer. You like a customer? I'm fake in front of a customer. You're fake in front of a customer. Just like dealer, you don't like me saying this? You're fake in front of salespeople. You don't like salespeople. And if you say you do, that's bullshit. I'm an advocate for salespeople. If a salespeople don't like the customers, they don't have to like the freaking customers. They stink, they smell, they lie. What more do I have to say? That's what customers do. Customers, we're lying our ass off to you. Go buy a Tesla. Oh, you can only buy them in 22 states and the car sucks anyways? That's the car you can buy online. That's the only car you can buy online. And they'll deliver it to you. Oh, and pay that $1,200. That federal dock fee. $1,200. Do you really, is that really necessary? They say, oh, our transportation is free. I could deliver a car from New York to L.A. for $1,200. They just lie to you, too. Just because you could buy it 100% online, like Carvana. They don't like you. The reason why they don't have a bricks and mortar building is because they don't want to smell your ass. Customers stink. And if you got a problem with this, I don't care. The dealers out there who I heard from said, I can't believe you talk like this. Well, I'm also talking about packs. You got too high of a pack. If somebody don't like a customer, they don't like the customer. You see, that's what makes a great salesperson, a smoozer, a closer. It's someone who can turn the hat around and go to town and gross and gross and gross. See, salespeople, we got to have skills to gross, right? We have a lot of obstacles around us. There's so many damn dealers out there right now that will not even allow you to hold back on a trade. How could you not hold back on the trade? A dealer, I know you're probably third generation or you're in a conglomerate and you're sitting on some board somewhere. Never set your ass on a dealership ever sold a car. When's the last time you've been into a dealership other than just do a red carpet walk through? Dirt ball. That's what you are. Taken from the salespeople. Salespeople, you got skills. Let's make sure you got even better skills. Let's make sure that you understand what your sales process is that leads into that closing process. What about the closing process? What is the closing process at your store? Dealer, I, I, I want to know what your closing process is. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Get that carrot out of your mouth. What's up, Doc? That's what it is. Put it in your ear. And then you're going to get knocked out because that's how serious I am. Stop talking crap about the salespeople and let them make more money. You don't like the salespeople like the salespeople don't like the customers. Customers, here it is. We're going to gouge your eyeballs out. We're going to choke you till you turn blue. Oh, and then we're going to let it go and let you get some air. Do it again and do it again and do it again. That's how we do things around here. That's what closers do. But we do it with a smile. We do it with a smile. Just sign right here. Just sign right here on the dotted line. Because we are going to go to bed tonight smiling ourselves. Dreaming about the money we just made off from you. See, what you do, customers, you just keep shopping and shopping and shopping and shopping and shopping and shopping. Shop so much you think you're just smarter than everybody. But real closers recognize people like you. We, 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 we can take care of you. Why is it, dealers, that there are a, a lot of stores throughout the country starting to weed off their BDC? See, it doesn't work anymore unless you're ready to close on the phone. It doesn't work anymore because we know that people are just shopping to try to get pricing. That's all they want. If they call to get pricing, close them down shut them down what time you coming in I, where are you at i'll pick you up that's what you gotta do with a smile so if the car sucker says we really don't like customers we really don't because customers can't stand us 
It's a fight. Everything in this business is a fight. Hell, once you, once you shake hands with a customer, it's a fight to get in the F and I. It's a fight to get your vehicle detailed. Everything's got to be a damn fight. You want to fight? Let's fight. Salespeople, closers, desk guys, let's go. We're going to fight. We want to get more money in our pockets. You, dealers, you're asking everybody to stay there to late, 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 late. For you, general managers, you're at home sucking your thumb. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to pull the carrot out of the dealer's ear and shove it up your ass. Because that's how serious we are. Now you better start fighting for us or you're going to have an issue. Big issue. Oh, don't like customers. Oh, boy, that's an issue itself. No. That's reality. Hey, if you like anything on this video, go ahead, like it, share it. If you don't like it, like I said before, I don't care. I'm an advocate for you salespeople. I'm an advocate. Yes, I am. I fight for you. Now, do yourself a favor. My name is Jimmy Prater. Go close something. Yeah!